Hey everybody, Aaron here. Welcome back to another anime review. Today we look at Yujo Senki, episode 11, or Saga Tanya of the Evil. Now, you know, I'm very impressed with this show. I really, really want to say that. I, I want people to understand this show is actually pretty good. I mean, I really highly enjoyed this show so far. We have one more episode left next week. And the conclusion is really what it's going to set in stone my final grade for. I'm not going to say what it is yet because in my head I have a kind of set st set in stone almost grade. Uh, depending on the conclusion though, it could change slightly. But um, anyways, for the most part though, this episode is really action-packed. I mean, if you wanted an action-packed episode, you do think you got it with this one. Where uh, Tanya actually faces off with the other commander who has is very similar to her. But, you know, what's funny is they both sh share so shots with one another. And ironically enough, you know, she gets hit, but at the same time, she just tears into him using her powers. And you can see, though, he uses a very similar style where he he activates his power or his his gem by praying to God. So I wonder if they're going to work with that with the next episode or anything like that, or if this is just a one-time trick type thing. Um, it does wrap up to the conclusion that, you know, she does, of course, as you see from this image, she blasts him away. I thought that was really freaking, like, there was... That was a very visceral scene between both of them, but the whole fact of that was amazing. Um, and, I mean, look, I mean, look, it was a lot of blood. I was so surprised by that. They showed a lot of blood. But anyways, he does have a one final move. He blows himself up alongside with her. Um, you know, you almost wonder, oh, God, is, is Tanya okay? Is she? Did she get hurt? Did she die? Because, I don't know, Tanya is a weird character. Like, I, I don't really, per se, feel for her, but I do find it like interesting to see her plight at the same time like i don't know how many times i could say that with the character that is her archetype in the show or in a show like this in general but i do feel for her in the sense that i, I do want to see what happens to her next um but luckily enough it's this is actually just like a little kind of teaser almost in its own right because what happens is this incident you know of course time just survives obviously uh but this incident causes what seems like the war to finally just end like Oh, it's all over. But then, they, of course, they throw this. But they, they, they say it was an armistice. Which, if you don't know what an armistice is, really, it's, it's essentially it's just a temporary ceasefire. Essentially. It, it sounds like it's an actual victory. But what it does is that it says that both sides decide, you know what? Let's, we'll give you some time. You know, think of what you want to do if you want to surrender, etc. And we won't attack you during that time. You know, it's, it's a very interesting thing that, that war does a lot. Uh, surprisingly, but does it always work? It's very rare than war it ever works, but you know, and, and that's when Tanya realizes that they're screwed. They have to attack, and she thinks that right away. She knows that the, the, what they're going to do is they're going to use the ship to start launching attacks, almost similar to, to another war we had before. And ironically enough, though, she can't do anything to stop that. She tries to, you know, convince the higher ups, the generals, to say, "Hey, listen, just let my troop go out. We will destroy the threat." And we will win this war permanently. There won't be an armistice. There won't be. There'll be a victory on our side. But they don't want to hear it. They're like, no, we're set in stone. This is what we're gonna do. And even the general, I think that one general she talked to, he didn't even seem to know that they were doing an armistice. But he realized it. But he can't go against his superior. So that was interesting. Um, this is, I think, the first time that we've seen Tanya actually break down. Like, we've seen her character. You know, his character, her character, depending on what you want to believe. We've seen. Her, her character be very tough as nails and in this episode they showed two things that were interesting they showed of course the scene where it was the church and she was talking to, uh, she was passing by a kid that was getting bullied and she felt bad for him and then they showed this scene where she's actually crying because she realizes that what's going to happen next is that they're going to get attacked and when they get attacked it's going to be blindside attack but she can't prevent that it's just going to cause the war to go into a further thing can this be a mixture of her own pity for herself because she has to realize that she's not done with the war. She's going to have to go right back into it. Or is this that she, she realizes that people are going to die? You know, can you think about that for a second? It's interesting because they showed some highlights that make it look like she actually cared about everyone else this episode, which is interesting. You know, I'll say this right now. I really, I really dig the show. I really do. I think the show is very well done so far. Uh, next week's episode is really what's going to determine what I feel about the show, though, in general. Anyways, guys and girls, I hope you enjoyed this review. Uh, like I said, solid episode overall round. You know, I don't know how late I am with this, by the way. I, I, I heard that apparently it was delayed, so I could be super late with this. I, it could be only like an hour or two late with it. Uh, I apologize I didn't have it out when it came out, but I was really fucking exhausted. Um, 
So I, you know, it's, it's always weird with stuff that comes out in the morning. So I, I tend to like go, oh, you know, I'll figure out how to do it later or whatever. Um, but hopefully you guys do the review nonetheless. I will talk to you later. If I see you for Blue Exorcist Season 2, Episode 12, which is the last one for the season. I'll be doing a review for that when it comes out in a couple minutes. Or not a couple minutes, but 30 minutes from now. And I will have a live stream tonight also. So look forward to that. Bye-bye, everyone.